What's up guys, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to add a roof to your Revit project. What you first want to do is select the level that you want your roof to sit at. So, I do not want a second floor on this project. It's only going to be a one story house. So I'm going to put my roof at the second floor level. So I'm just going to double click that. Now once you're here, you want to go up here to the roof option and click that. Now here, it's going to select the pick walls tool and you're just going to want to pick each one of your exterior walls, but you just want to make sure that your that this dotted blue line right here is on the outside of the walls because that shows your overhang and you want your overhang over your walls, not into your house. If you wanted to change your overhang, you can change that right up here, but for this demo, I am not going to. So you just click each one of these walls. Go all the way around here. And then once you're done with that, all you have to do is click the check mark. And then it's gonna say, would you like to attach the highlighted walls to the roof? And I'm going to click yes. Now, I'm gonna go to 3D and you can see what that looks like. Pretty boring, pretty basic. Now, let's say you wanted a gable. And a gable is the triangle portion of your roof. I will show you how to do that. So first, either click on your roof and click Edit Footprint, or in Revit 2014, you can double tap, and it will bring you into the Edit Footprint mode. Now, as you can see, all of these have little triangles next to them, and that means that they are sloping on each one of those ways. So if you wanted a gable and it not to slope on this side, all you do is click on that line, and then go, come up here and uncheck define slope. And now I'll show you what that looks like. I click the check. See now as you can see I have a gable on the front of my house. I'll show you that once again. So I'm just gonna edit footprint. And then I'm gonna go to the top view and let's say I wanted one right over here. I'm gonna uncheck define slope and click the check. And now as you can see I have a gable on that side as well. Now, to edit the slope of your roof, there's three ways to do that. You can either go in by Edit Footprint and select each line, change the slope for each line if you wanted to. You can go from a side view and then click on these arrows and drag them, but that's not a real precise way of getting an accurate measurement. But then the easiest option to change all your slopes on every single peak, you click on the roof and then scroll down here in your properties box and you will see slope. Now I'll just show you, I'm gonna make this 3 twelfths and as you can see that made it a lot less steep and then if we do something like 30 twelfths, that's gonna make it look way steeper. Now, if you're more advanced and want a better looking roof, a more realistic roof, what you want to do is click on the second floor, or whatever floor you want to put your roof at, and we're just going to draw this one in pieces. So I'm going to click roof once again, and then I basically just try and go for squares. So I know I can get a square roof out of here and then I know I'm gonna want gables on this side and this side so to select both of those at the same time you can hold control and I'm gonna uncheck define slope and then click the check and I'll show you what that looks like yes I'd like to, to attach the walls now as you can see these parts don't have roofs yet but we're gonna fix that so I'm gonna go back to my second floor here I'm going to draw another portion of roof right here. And I'll just connect these. And then I also want gables here on those two. So uncheck define slope. Yes, I'd like to attach them. And then now one more little piece here. And then I'm going to finish off my loop here 
Once again, I want gables here, so I'm going to uncheck define slope, and then click the check. Yes. Now I'll show you what this looks like. If you were to click no when it asks you to attach the highlighted walls, they would look just like this. They would come right through your roof. Now there's a way to manually do that. What you do is click on the wall, and then click attach top to base, and then click on what you want it to attach to. So in this case, I want it to attach to the roof. Now this works for floors, it works for other walls and roofs, of course. So that's that side, I'll show you it again. Click on what you want to attach, then click attach top to base, then what you want to attach it to, and then it will attach. And then I'll do the same with these two right here. Attach top to base, and then click the top. Now as you can see, our roof isn't completely finished yet. We need to connect these to connect this. So, what you want to do is click on one of your pieces of roof and then come over here and you will find the join slash unjoin roof tool. So, click on that and then you want to select the edge of the roof you want to join. So, in this case, it's this one. And then you want to select the surface you want it to join, which is our main piece right here. So, I'll click and as you can see, it has connected those two pieces of roof. So, I'll show you again. Click the join roof tool click the edge of the one you want to join and then the surface of the one you want it to join to. Now as you can see this gives you a more professional look. It looks a lot cleaner than all the different peaks that Revit automatically puts in when you just draw a basic one. Now to add fascia, soffits, and gutters to your house. These are all very similar but I'm just going to go over fascia because I feel like that's the most common. So what you want to do is be in 3D mode and then you want to click this down arrow right next to the roof tool and you can see your three different options right here I'm just gonna do fascia so for this all you wanna do is highlight the edges of your roof and then just click once it highlights and then just do this all around it's hard to see right now because my roof is the same color I'll have to change that but as you can see, I just go all the way around. Click each part. Okay, now I have fascia all the way around. So, uh, to show you this, I'm just going to change my roof here to a different color. And now, as you can see, here's a spot where I left the fascia off. And you can tell the difference in fascia color. So. If this video helped you out, please subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.